Good morning, everyone. My name is Kevin Hicks from the Stockholm Environment Institute at the University of York. And um, you can see my picture below there. It's a good job it's not moving because I'm, uh, you'd see me sweating in my lockdown attic. And today I'd like to talk to you about a new ICAST project which will run from July 2020 uh, to July 2021. And it's uh, entitled In My Farm, Evidence-Based Good Practice for Integrated Nitrogen Management on Yorkshire Farms. And the proposal was put together by myself and my collaborators, uh, Jean McKendry and Sarah Wester, SCI in York, who are um, participatory experts and um, co-design experts. Uh, Sarah Moller at the University of York uh, Department of Chemistry, who is now a senior academic fellow for air quality in the DEFRA Systems Research Programme, led by Ian Boyd, chief scientist, and um, Pippa Chapman, who's also speaking today at the Confluence at the University of Leeds, uh, chair in biogeochemistry at the School of Geography, and she's our soil nutrient cycling expert, so very much an interdisciplinary team. The In My Farm project is based on an ICASP workshop which was held in York in March 2019. So it involved 40 stakeholders from farming, agricultural policy and scientific research. Um, and it looked at integrated nitrogen management approaches to maximise resource efficiency and farm productivity while protecting the quality of the air, the soil, the water and biodiversity. And the results were synthesised into a, a DEFRA briefing note, which is available on the ICASP um, website. The next slide shows you um, the logos of who was involved in the, some of the people who were involved in the workshop. And you can see that we... We uh, spanned um, from policy, so we had representatives from the air quality team and the water quality team of the DEFRA, of DEFRA and uh, right down to farmers. So we had um, Angus Galfort from Approach Farm in York, and then everyone in between, all the people trying to link the policy to the farmer. So the key messages from that workshop, which were the basis for the, uh, the, the my, In My Farm project, where um, communication is a key a key factor. So among farmers, academics, policymakers, to achieve a, a shared understanding, and then engagement with farmers by farmers. Engagement with all farmers is critical, including hard to reach the hard to reach ones. Uh, the change happens with peer to peer learning. Then the policy issues alignment with the desired goals. So there's a need for flexibility for different contexts and awareness of the implications for farmers working in different areas and then tools so the knowledge and tools are out there it's what our stakeholders told us but the farmers are time poor and need support and changes must contribute to financial viability so that was a theme that came up time and time again so the new in my farm icast project will very much look at the opportunities that were identified in the workshop uh, firstly surrounding the flexibility in a post-brexit policy linked to the 25-year environmental plan, the agricultural bill, which is going through Parliament at the moment, the environmental land management scheme, which is related to public money for public goods, and the clean air strategy and the water framework directive. So this is very much the project in my farm will very much have a holistic approach. So it's not just about nitrogen, it's about the other factors which are inevitably involved, linked to air quality, nitrate and phosphorus pollution, soil erosion, carbon sequestration, of course, greenhouse gas emissions and the net zero carbon target. The focus, our focus is very much on upskilling farmers in more effective nutrient management. And this is something that was identified in the workshop as, as lacking at the moment with only about 50% um, of farmers actually having a nutrient management plan and then not all of them actually following that through. So how can we help farmers have more effective nutrient management plans? And very much it's about peer-to-peer -peer learning. So how can farmers learn from each other? We heard at our workshop that farmers often take, you know, the best approach they can. So it ends up being quite ad hoc what type of measures are taken on different farms. So we'd like to learn from, you know, farmers across Yorkshire about how they're actually tackling the problems that they're facing. And we'd like to acknowledge the farmers as experts in their own right. And a, and a big message that we got at the workshop was don't bamboozle us with facts and figures. Use good, solid demonstrations and case studies to show us how, how things can be done. And uh, very much would be facing to um, younger farmer groups as well. 
So the project, as I said, will take a holistic approach and will aim to assess the key issues, including the influence of nitrogen management on the soil structure and function. And as you'll see in a moment, we'll link very much to other ICAS projects looking at these, uh, these dimensions. And we'd like to understand the implications of different farmer practices, such as no-till, low-till, use of the cover crops and storage of manure if less applied, etc. And these were highlighted in our workshop by our farmer presenters. Um, access to um, the potential benefits and trade-offs of farmer actions and what the financial benefits or otherwise may be. And understanding the implications for a new agriculture of the new agricultural bill for farmer practice and environmental outcomes. So we've put together a team of partners and all the ones on this slide we have letters of support from that were part of the proposal. So very importantly we have the link to DEFRA, so we have the fertiliser team which is best placed to take the lead linking to the water and air quality teams. So we've already, with Sarah Muller's help, we've already linked to these people within DEFRA. And um, we've also linked to farmer networks in, in, in Yorkshire who attended our workshop. So we have the Yorkshire Agricultural Society with our link person there, Holly Jones, and the Yorkshire Dales Farmer Network represented um, by Ruth Kendall. We also have the Champions of the Farm's Environment uh, represented by uh, a livestock and arable farmer um, in his own right, Fraser Hugel. And he's also linked to the um, Countryside Stewardship Fund, and there's 59 farms in the Estrit Valley uh, uh, who are linked to the Countryside Stewardship Fund and also linked to the ICASP console project. And we have um, John Williams from ADAS, um, Jonathan Skidmore from the Catch Catchment Sensitive Farming um, Initiative um, from, the, from Natural England, and myself who I'm linked to the International Nitrogen Initiative as a European Director. And I was able to bring someone from Denmark to the workshop who was able to talk about his experiences managing ammonia emissions from um, Danish, from the Danish agricultural sector. And the team is sort of uh, finalised by um, a link to a multi-staker international advisory board which has been put together. So as I say, we have many links across the ICASP uh, programme. So we have the link to the soil health initiatives, um, which are spearheaded by Jonathan Leake and Pippa Chapman. We have the link to Payment for Outcomes Initiative, which is um, the uh, Impact Transfer Fellow Jenny Armstrong, who's also talking today. We have the link, as I said, to es Esk Valley Farmers through the Consult Project and our link to uh, Champions for the Farms Environment. And our link there is Duncan, Duncan Five. Um, and then recently we've, we've established a very good link to the Met Office um, um, on spatial modelling of carbon nitrogen and erosion in Yorkshire, which has been led by Marcelo uh, Valadares Geldos. And then finally, you know, we have the links to the governance, governance group of ICASP and members such as the Yorkshire Water and the Internal Drainage Boards. So with that background and that team and partners, uh, assembled, what do we intend to, intend to do between now and next July? So activity one will um, very much be linking to the DEFRA priorities for mixed and arable farms and linking to our partners um, at DEFRA to identify the opportunities for um, linking integrated nitrogen management to their policy development and the payment for services that farmers may potentially get under the ELM scheme. Activity two then would take this sort of briefing document which um, produced by our interaction with DEFRA and use that with a, a team of ex our team of experts to produce a guidance for how we, th we think using existing knowledge, how the uh, Yorkshire farmers could work to achieve better integrated nitrogen management. Then in activity three, this um, outline guidance or even a potential tool will be tested with farmers through our farmer networks that we're working with through stretch and um, structured questionnaire questionnaire approaches and phone calls and if uh, permitting farm visits of course if that is possible um, and in activity four there'll be um, further consultation and uh, with our partner our wider partner group and our international advisory board to make sure that we have as many um, views represented as possible and have reached a realistic consensus. And then the final guidance to uh, Yorkshire farmers for doing integrated nitrogen management will be launched at a multi-stakeholder uh, workshop in the late spring of 2021, 
where the uh, documents will be fine-tuned and that the potential for turning it into a tool will be uh, discussed. The project um, will obviously undergo the impact monitoring and evaluation scheme that ICASP recommends, and here we'd be very much linking to the economic benefit potential linked to the ELM scheme. We'll be linking to the science use in the regional networks connection, uh, for example, uptake of in my farm material by the by the farmers and uh, and stakeholders in the region. Um, looking at the uptake of our results through the national and, and regional policies and um, obviously capacity building potential and how farmers will have benefited from the information that we've put together. So finally, um, I'd like to invite you all to um, think about participating in the project and getting involved in, in the stakeholder um, assessment parts of the project. And there's my contact details um, below. So thank you ever so much for listening and um, I'm happy to take your questions.